You ever felt like you needed to take a super quick break before finishing your last one or two reps of your set? You gotta get in now, especially after all the hard work you've just put in and don't want to give up at the very end. Now the question is, is this resting in between your reps a good or bad idea? First, let's understand this concept further. The scenario I just described is similar to something known as rest pause sets. A rest pause is usually done in the last set upon reaching failure. At that point, you re-rack the weight, take a quick 10 to 30 second pause, and then jump right back into it and crank out a few more reps. The benefit of this is that obviously, you do more reps without having to decrease the weight intensity. More reps mean more volume, which hopefully means more gains. Now, there's another popular rest type method known as cluster sets. When clustering, you take a regular set, split it into mini sets, and slap a mini rest in between them. For instance, instead of a traditional 4 sets of 8 reps per set with 60 seconds of rest between sets, you create 4 cluster sets by splitting the 8 reps to a pair of 4 rep mini sets. Slap a short 20 seconds of rest in between the mini sets, and then rest 60 seconds again between each cluster. The benefit here is the ability to work with heavier loads, which might translate to greater strength gains. To clarify, a traditional 8 rep set would have you lifting around 70% of your 1 rep max, whereas you can go heavier with 4 or even 2 rep clusters, bumping the load to 80 or even 90% of your 1 RM. Now, rest pause and clusters might be cool concepts and all, but again, are they actually a good idea? First, I want to give a quick thank you to SciFit.net for providing the following info via their article on this very topic. Now, the current research is a bit mixed about rest pause and clusters. For general muscle hypertrophy, the studies kind of go either way with traditional rest pause and cluster sets achieving decent yet similar muscle gains. In terms of strength, traditional sets seem to be moderately more effective than rest pause and clusters for isolated accessory exercises like bicep curls and knee extensions. For larger compound exercises like squats and shoulder presses, studies kind of swing both ways with neither having a clear advantage. However, one caveat is that some studies kept the exercise load for cluster sets the same as the load used in traditional sets. As we've discussed earlier, you can and should increase the exercise load when doing clusters. It's likely that the cluster subjects didn't work really hard and missed out on a stronger muscle stimulus as well as more volume, which could have held back some gains. We don't know that for sure, but it definitely is a limitation to consider. In any case, the biggest takeaway from this is that clusters and rest pause sets, when done properly, at the very least, won't do much harm. If you need that extra bit of rest or want to lift heavier for more total reps, which is great for getting stronger, then give rest pause and clusters a shot. Just do it for larger compound movements like squats, deadlifts, and bench presses, but not so much for isolations like bicep curls. Traditional sets should still encompass the majority of your program, however, since it's still tried and true. Use rest pause and clusters more as supplementary tools to push through things like plateaus rather than replace traditional sets entirely. And with the additional rest times you're taking, make sure you plan ahead for more time at the gym. At the end of the day, resting between your reps from time to time should be fine. Load up the weights, take your breaks, and happy lifting! Thank you to all my awesome Patreon supporters. They were the ones that voted for this topic. If you want to vote for future topics or just want to help out little old picture fits, then please come check out my Patreon today. Any amount helps. But if anything, the best way you can help is just to simply subscribe and enjoy the content and share it with your cluster loving friends. As always, thank you for watching and get your protein.